Zumi's prayers, wondrous in our eyes. The laggardly flesh is spurred to dawn's press upon the land. Arise, shine, light is come. We had been prostrate in our soul. Not my fortune, which is spare. Not my grandeur, which is ordinary. But the meekest part of me, into which you will bestow yourself. A shackled captive arises from night to find entitlement anew. No privilege from the world, but into your heavens do we seek. We are, in fact, summoned. Who shall not hear that voice, so ancient in its tone, so earnest in its calling? The earth for all its centuries was wrapped in a sulfurous and smoky pall of darkness. And then, behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delights. This also is why it is said, awake sleeper, you who sleep will rise from death when does Messiah shine on you. The glory of the Lord has come. We which sat in darkness, our light, our radiance has come. It was a darkness of sin, of sorrow, and of ignorance. For who shall have known one so high else who came among us? Elect to glory as the only begotten of the Father, he comes only into meekness of the Spirit. And this meekness is earned in the sorrow of repentance. All these tearful people now rejoice. All our tears are stored in alabaster and poured out upon the Lord as precious oil. In you is all joy, and in you only is the cleansing from all sin. That we have light, we shall be light. You became like unto us, that we become like to you, like to you by reception of your very own life into ours. The light absorbed within us then comes forth from us. Clouds lie over the sunset, poor, gray, misty, yet smitten by your radiance. Attend your glory. From your own lips was said, you are the light of the world. You, the sun of righteousness, move in the heavens circled by many another sun appeared against a backdrop of miasmal light was an apparition in white. It was I, it was I. Even as I now am, it is I. What we are to be, we now are. The bride of the Lamb is clothed in pure and stainless white. We are known by our righteousnesses. The source of these rightnesses is divine. It is given to us to be so arrayed. The raiment has character and bears the character of the wearer. It shall never have been ours but for him without whom we can do nothing. Are we blameless? Yes, for you have made us so. Imputed as we are justified, imparted for our sanctification. We walk with you dressed in white, for we are worthy. We have attempted at times to do good, but our sinfulness mars the beauty of our ideals. From the other end, you work with infinite power, infinite wisdom, infinite love. This to reveal to us the cross bearing your own son as the great end toward which we have been moving but never of ourselves shall have attained. We who were made in the image and likeness of you are again restored. This is the Lord's doing. It is wondrous in our eyes. Amen.